welcome to bj math academy this is babaiya jamalpur today we have discuss addition and subtraction of fractions already we have discussed about that row additions and uh, row subtractions now enter into the topic what is that addition and subtraction of fractions for example a number and a fraction how we can add it so how we can add this a number and a fraction so directly so we can find in that so two or three methods these two are multiplying how much five to the means two into five and what is the middle symbol plus that as this symbol and next to take three by divided by five what is the denominator denominator is five so these two are just multiplying and that is equal to two five is a ten plus three by 5 that is equal to 13 by 5 it is the one method now go to that or another way 2 plus 3 by 5 so there is no denominator for 2 and 3 has a denominator that's why 2 has no denominator that's why we can assume to that 1 so 2 by 1 is equal to also again 2 only so value cannot be changed now 2 by 1 plus 3 by 5 <coughs> the number which has no denominator so at that time we can assume to that the denominator is 1 now by the cross multiplication 2 into 5 plus middle symbol what is that plus and 3 into 1 by 1 into 5 so even denominators also we can multiply now from that 2 5 is a 10 plus 3 1 is a 3 by 1 5 is a 5 that is equal to 13 by 5 it is the another method. Now going to directly also we can write it 2 plus 3 by 5. That is equal to once we can observe. So these two are multiplying. So that result and what is the middle symbol plus? That result is adding to the number. So how much? 2 5 is a 10. 10 plus 3 13 by 5 directly. What is it? 2 5 is a 10. 10 plus 3 13. So it is directly orally we can find the answer. So, like that, we can solving that a number and a fraction. Now, second one. It's suppose changing the places. 5 by 2 plus 7, like it is that. First of all, a fraction and a number. It is also same method. So, what is that? The number which has no denominator Okay, that's number and here denominator both are multiplied. So here what is the first two? 5 has a denominator. That's why I asked is plus. What is the next symbol? Plus. And two sevens are we can multiply. Two sevens are means 2 into 7 by. What is the denominator here? 2. From that 5 plus 2 sevens are 40 by 2. 5 plus 14 how much? 19 by 2. It is the answer. And another way. 5 by 2 plus 7. 7 has no denominator. That's why we can assume to that one. That is equal to by the cross multiplication. We can cross multiply that first numerator and second denominator always. How we can multiply? First numerator we have to take it first. Next to second denominator. These both we can multiply. So 5 into 1 plus. Next to second denominator, second numerator and first denominator like the cross multiplication. So first these two and second these two. 7 into 2 by 2 into 1. That is equal to 5 plus 14 by 2. That is equal to 19 by 2. Or another way, directly also we can find the solution. So these two are multiplying. These two are multiplying. Denominator and the number is multiplying. And that result is adding to the 5. 2 7 is 14. 14 plus 5. 19 by 2. It is the answer. Now, how we can subtract a number and a fraction? Five minus two by three. So five minus two by three is equals to same process. Just before we did a number and a fraction addition, same like that only. So this denominator and a number we can multiply. Five into three. And what is the middle symbol? Minus and two. 2 as a denominator, that's why no need to multiply and divided by 3. So, 5 3 is how much? 15 minus 2. 
So 15 minus 2 by 3. Denominator is 3. 15 minus 2 is equal to how much? 13. 13 by 3. It is the answer. Now go to that. R. Another way. 5 minus 2 by 3. If suppose there is no denominator, we can assume to that 1. Now we can follow the cross multiplication. It is directly we can solve it and it is the cross multiplication. Now 5 into 3. So always this type of problems, it is the smaller and bigger, whatever is there, we have to follow the rule. The first numerator and the second denominator, second denominator only multiplying first, like it is. So 5 into 3 and what is the middle sign? Minus 2 into 1, like it is. By 1 into 3. That is equal to 15 minus 2 by 1, 5 3 is the 15 minus as it is. 2 ones are 2 by 1 into 3 is equal to 3. 15 minus 2 is equal to 13 by 3. Or another way, 5 minus 2 by 3. That is equal to directly we can find finding the solution. So first of all, a denominator and a number we can multiply in. That result is what is the middle sign minus? That result and next number is subtracting. So 3 5 is the 15, 15 minus 2 by 3, that is equal to how much? 13 by 3. So, like that we can finding that a number and a fraction, subtraction. Now, a fraction and a number. Second example. 3 by 2 minus 6. So, how we can solve it? So, it is also very easy. So, 3 by 2 minus 6. There is no denominator. So, that's why a number, so sorry, a denominator and a number we can multiply in and uh, that is that result is subtracting from 3 like so what is the number this 3 has a denominator that's why right as it is minus and uh, 2 6 are 2 into 6 by 2 that is equal to 3 minus 12 by 2 that is equal to minus 9 by 2 it is the answer so how we can finding here 3 minus 12 is equal to minus 9 some members are writing like directly 9 by 2 it is wrong 9 by 2 is wrong so when we have to take minus that is correct. So, but one is smaller, one is better. Already we have discussed about these are row additions in that. So, one is small, one is great, whatever is there. So, here middle minus is there. So, one is plus, one is minus. We can subtract it. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9, but the biggest is minus, the answer becomes minus. Now, next, or uh, another way 3 by 2 minus 6. There is no denominator 6. That's why we can assume to that 1. From that, 3 1s are. Cross multiplication here. 3 1s are 3 minus 6. 2 into 6 by 2 into 1. How we can multiply? 3 into 1, middle minus 6 into 2 by even denominators also multiply. From that, 3 to 6 are 12 by 2 1s are 2. So here 1 is plus, 1 is minus, we can subtract it. 9. But biggest is minus, the answer becomes minus. And denominator as it is, you can write it. It is minus 9 by 2. Or directly also. 3 by 2 minus 6. So, this, the number has no denominator. That's why a denominator and this, both are multiplying. The result is subtracting from 3. So, it is first, it is second. So, now 2, 6 are 12. 3 minus, it has a denominator. That's why it is as it is. 3 minus, what is the middle sign? Minus. And 2, 6 are 12. By 2. 3 minus 12 is equal to minus 9 by 2. It is a right answer. So, how to adding the fractions if the denominators are same? So, now we will learn about that. So, 2 by 3 plus 5 by 3 plus 6 by 3. So, these three fractions have the same denominator. That's why we can take the denominator once. And all numerators we can add it. So if the denominators all are same, then we can add in numerators and the denominator take only once. It is remember that more denominator so denominators are same on the denominator was calling and numerators in add chart. So from that 2 plus 5, 7, 7 plus 6, 13. 13 by 3. It is the answer. It is very easy. It's suppose second. 5 by 7 minus plus 7 by 8 by 7 
plus 9 by 7. All remnants are same. So, 5 plus, so now write once denominator and next we can add the numerators. Don't add in the denominators. We are taking only once the denominator. 5 plus 8 plus 9. So, 5 plus 8 how much? 13. 13 plus 9? 22. It is that. If suppose given any two fractions. It is like. So, given any two fractions, even denominators are same, same like that. So, both numbers are same, that's why we can take once. And 2 plus 5, we can add it. How much? 7 by 3. It is the right answer. Now, if suppose denominators are different, how we can add it? 2 by 3 plus 5 by 2. So, here both numbers are different. So, it is if the given two fractions, we can follow the cross multiplication is better. Otherwise, more than two fractions are given, we can follow the LCM method is better. So, given any two fractions, so from that, I can follow the cross multiplication. So, in the cross multiplication, so first 2 into 2, middle what is the sign? Plus 5 into 3. By even denominators also multiply. So that is equal to 2 goes up 4 plus 5 3 is up 15 by 3 2 is up 6. 15 plus 4, 19 by 6. It is the third answer. So how we can multiply? Once again, you can see that first number, the second number is multiply. Cross, crossly I can multiply. 2 into 2. And middle what is the sign? Plus as it is. And 5 into 3. Second denominator, second numerator and first denominator. 5 into 3. Crossly we can multiply. And upon by this both denominators also multiply. So from that 2 2 is 4 and middle what is the sign? Plus 5 into 3 15 by 3 into 2 6. 4 plus 15 is equal to 19 by 6. Like, like that we can follow that. Or otherwise LCM method. It is a cross multiplication method. Now go to the LCM method. 2 by 3 plus 5 by 2. So this LCM, LCM of 2 comma 3 is equal to 6. How is it? 2 table, 2 ones are. Both are not going in same table, that's why directly we should multiply. So otherwise, if you are following the process means 2 ones are 2 and 3 is not going right as this and next 3 table, 1 is uh, as this and 3, okay, 3 ones are 3. So what are that? 2 into 3 into 1 into 1 total is equal to 6. So no need to this process also because of that these two are okay are not going in same table are not coming in same table that's why we can multiply the both so what is the lcm lcm is 6 so here lcm of 2 comma 3 is equal to 6 that's why each fraction is multiplying the getting result of lcm with lcm plus 5 by 2 into what is the lcm 6 so and divided by that upon by so total again LCM write it. How? LCM of 2 comma 3 is equal to 6. So the LCM is multiplying to the both fractions 2 by 3 into 6 plus 5 by 2 into 6 and divided by and again write the LCM. Now is there any cancellation? You should do cancel. 3 ones are 3 two ones are 2 ones are 2 ones are must and should cancel. So from that 2 into 2 plus 5 into 3 by 6 that is equal to 2 is of 4 5 3 is of 15 by 6 that is equal to 19 by 6 we are getting same answer here 19 by 6 here 19 by 6 but it is takes some place and time but it is better to cross multiply directly also we can get it so it is the processing of addition of two fractions now go to that if suppose given Two fractions, subtractions. How is it? So two by three minus five by two. Two by three minus five by two. So same as it is. We can follow the cross multiplication method. So two into two, first of all. And what is the middle sign? Minus. And next two, five into three. By and even denominators also multiply. Three into two. That is equal to how much? Four 
2 2 is a 4 minus 5 3 is a 15 by 3 2 is a 6. 4 minus 15 how much? That is minus 11 by 6. It is the answer. So now go to that or another way. LCM method. LCM of, so here question is 2 by 3 minus 5 by 3. LCM of 3 comma 2. How much? 6. Just before we have counted that, that is 6. So now from that, LCM is 6. As usual, we can follow the process. 2 by 3 and that LCM is multiplying to the each fraction and middle what is the sign? Minus and 5 by 2 into again LCM is multiplying to the another fraction and divided by upon by total upon by the LCM. Next to cancellation 3 1s are 3 2 are 2 1s are 2 3 are 6. Now next to what is the remaining 2 2 are 4 minus 5 3 are 15 by 6. 4 minus 15 how much? Minus 11 by 6. So it is that in that both methods also we are getting the same answer. So it is like that we can subtracting two fractions. It's suppose minus symbol is front of the number. So how we can solve it? Means the first number has a minus and second number has a plus. So how we can solve it? Minus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 5. Like it is. So minus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 5. It is also same. But even middle plus is there. So we have to follow your middle plus that is only. But by the cross multiplication, first how is it? Minus 3 into 5. And middle what is the sign? Plus. And 4 into 2. By 2 into 5. Same process of that, like that. Now, minus 3 into 5, minus 15, plus 4 into 2, 8, by 2 into 5, 10. But here, one is negative, one is positive. So, what we can do? Already, we have studied in the row additions. So, one is negative, one is positive, we can subtract it. So, 15 minus 8, 7. But biggest is negative, answer is negative. One side, one is negative, one is positive. So, we can subtract. Don't forget that. Now, minus 15 plus 8 is minus 7. Because of that, 15 minus 8, 7. But biggest is minus, the answer becomes minus. And is there any cancellation? We can cancel it. Otherwise, that is only answer. So, if given any three fractions, how we can add and how we can subtract? Now, learn that. So, 2 by 3 plus 5 by 4 plus 6 by 2. So, like that given, we can follow the two methods. We can follow the two methods. One is cross multiplication method. One is LCM method. So, if given more than two fractions, it is better to choose LCM method. So, now, first of all, I can follow the LCM method. LCM of 3 comma 4 comma 2 is equal to how much? Two. So, how we can find it? 3, 4, 2. So, for finding the LCM. Already we have learned about the LCM and LCF also. So, any two numbers are going in same table, we can take that table. So, these 4 and 2 are going in two table, that's why I can take two table. So, 3 is not going right as it is. 2 2 is a 4 and 2 1 is a 2. So, and 3 2 1. In that any two numbers are not going in same table. In 3 and 2. That's why stop the process. LCM is 2 into 3 into 2. 2 3 is a 6, 6 2 is a 12. That is equal to 12. So, LCM is equal to how much? 12. Now, every fraction is multiplying with LCM. 2 by 3 into 12 plus 5 by 4 into 12 plus 6 by 2 into 12. And uh, total is divided by again with LCM. Once again, so what is the getting LCM? That LCM is multiplying to the all fractions and divided by the again LCM. Now, is there any cancellation issue to cancel? 3 1s are 3 4s are 4 1s are 4 3s are 2 1s are 2 6s are. Now, 2 into 4, 8. 5 into 3, 15. Plus, middle what is the symbols? That is as it is, you can take it. And next 6 6s are 36. Divided by 12. Next to 8 plus 15, how much? 23. 23 plus 36, how much? 59. By 12. So it is that 
answer. If suppose we are to following the cross multiplication, that is taking so much time and it is taking that more place. So always it once we can check it. So first problem is what? 2 by 3 plus 5 by 4 plus 6 by 2. So I can follow the cross multiplication method. So in the cross multiplication method, we can take any two, these two or these two or these two. We have to choose any two. So from that, first of all, 2 by 3 plus 5 by 4, I can do the cross multiplication and 6 by 2 is lack. So first of all, I can take that these two. So 2 for the 8. So 2 for the 8 plus 5 into 3, 15 by these two are multiplying. Again, the number is also 3 for the 12. And what is the remaining fraction? As this, we can continue the remaining fraction. 8 plus 15 is equal to how much? That is 23 by 12 plus 6 by 2. Now, again, cross multiply. So, 23 into 2, 46 plus 6 into 12, 72. By 12, 2 is 24. Now, 46 plus 72. How much? 2 plus 6, 8. 7 plus 4, 11 by 24. So, is there any confusion? We can add this board. 2 6 are 2 plus 6, 8 and 7 plus 4, 11. We are getting that 118. So, 118 by 24. Is there cancellation? We can do the cancel. But here, we are not getting the same answer. So, is there cancellation? That's why I can do the cancel. 2 table. 2 ones are 2 twos are. 2 fives are 10. How much remain? 1. 118. 18 means 2 nines are. 18. 2 nines are 18. Therefore, that is equal to 59 by 12. We are getting that both are same answers. So, it is that cross multiplication method. In the cross multiplication method, we can choose first two fractions. That result we can get it. After that, again, another fraction is continuing. After again, we can follow that again cross multiplication. So, it is the process of cross multiplication method. It is the process of LCM method. So, if suppose given any more than two fractions, we can follow that LCM method. It is better to finding the solution. Now, if given any three fractions, addition and subtraction is given, how we can okay, find the solution? Now, we will learn that. This is also, we can follow the LCM method, it is better to solve. So, LCM of 2, 4, 5 is equal to 20. So, how is it? 2, 4, 5 LCM. So, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4 and 5 is not going right as is. So, how we can take the 2? So, at least any 2 numbers are going in same table. So, we can take that table. So, from that, and yet 2 comma 5 are not going in same table. So, stop the process. Now, 2 into 1 into 2 into 5. That is equal to 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. 4 fives are 20. <coughs> now, so every fraction is multiplying with LCM. 3 by 2 into 20. Minus 5 by 4 into 20. And plus 6 by 5 into 20. And uh, divided by the again with LCM. So, is there any cancellation? You can do the cancel. 2 ones are 2 tens are. 4 ones are 4 fives are 20. 5 ones are 5 fours are 20. So, now 3 into 10 how much? 30. Minus 5 into 5 how much? 25. Plus 6 into 4 how much? 24. By 10. This is very easy. So, what is that? 3 into 10, 30. Minus as it is. 5 into 5, 25. And plus as it is. 6 into 4, 24. By the as it is. And divided by as it is 10. Now, go to that. But here, how we can add into this? So, what are the positives? First of all, we can add them. 30 is the positive. 24 is the positive. 30 plus 24, we can add it. After, we can subtract the negative. So, it is better to solve in the solution. So, 30 plus 24, 54 minus 25 by 20. Otherwise, we can follow that. 30 minus 25, 5, 5 plus 24, 29 by 20. So, R, so which are positives, we can add it 54 and the minus 25. 54 minus 25, 29 by 20. Like this also, we can find the solution or otherwise directly also, we can find the solution. So, it is that given any three fractions in that addition and subtraction, we can solve in the solution. Now next, multiplication of fractions and division of fractions. So about this, we will learn in next class. So, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe.
అండ్ పక్కనే ఉన్న బెల్ ఐకాన్ని క్లిక్ చేసినట్లయితే నేను కొత్తగా పెట్టినటువంటి వీడియోస్ మీకు నోటిఫికేషన్ రూపంలో వస్తుంది థ్యాంక్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ మై వీడియో లైక్ షేర్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్